The first thing we are going to be working on is creating categories. First, let's go ahead and create a categories controller, which is going to control everything about categories. So we're going to say php addsan make controller categories controller. If you notice in the last section, we had a list of routes. We had the index, the create, the post, the patch, the delete, and Lavo can help us automatically generate those methods in our controllers if we add the resource flag. So just type resource right here and let's have a look at the controller that was generated. So if you check out categories.php, you can see we have the index and this is going to be used to display a listing of the resource. We have the create to show the form for creating a new resource. We have the store to store a newly created resource in storage. We have the show to show a resource, edit to show the form for editing, update to update, and finally destroy for deleting. And those methods are automatically generated for us. So the next thing is in our web.php file. If we want to automatically register all the routes for categories, we can do a route resource called categories and match this to the categories controller. Notice that I didn't add the method. Just like here we have home controller at index, I didn't add the method because I'm using resource. And let's see the list of routes that Lavo registers. So add route list. So PHP at sun route list. So if you see right now, we have a bunch of category routes that have been registered for us. The first is the categories for create or storing a category, which is a post. And then we have get categories to see a list of posts. Then we have create to get the form for creating a post. We have categories right here to update a single particular category. Notice that it's a put patch request. Then we have categories get to show a single category. Then we have delete to delete a category and edit to edit a category. Now, if we visit the categories route, you can see that we have a blank page. Why? Because if we go to our categories controller, which is right here in the controllers folder, you'll notice that it displays nothing. Okay. So what we are going to do is we're going to return a view. So return view and we'll call this categories dot index, which means we have to go to the resources views folder, create a folder called categories and create another fold file called index.blade.php. Okay. So now that we have this, first we have to extend the main layout by saying extends layouts.app. The next thing we need to do is define a section called content. So at section content and section. So if we refresh this page right now, you can see we have the page, but the content is empty. So let's go ahead and fill that page with some content. We're going to have a card, the card default, a card heading or header actually, and this is going to say categories. So if we refresh this right now, great. You can see we have categories right there. So on this page, we are going to display a list of categories. But we need to be able to create categories first. So we are going to add a link at the top of this page that says create category. So we're going to come to the categories right here and we are going to add a link. So a dot button dot button success dot float right. And this is going to say add category. If we refresh. Okay. That's a button, but we don't want it to look like this, right? So we're going to instead use display flex instead of using float. So I'm just going to create a div with a display of flex dot justify content and to float the flex items to the end. And I'll paste my link right there. So if we refresh, great. You can see we have our link at the top right there. Maybe we just want to give this a margin bottom of two just so it has some space and great. Awesome. So we have our add category button and when we click on this link, what we want to do is actually take us to the path for creating a new category. Now at the moment it's empty, but we can go ahead and do 
categories slash create but if we want to know the route we can do accent route list and check out the get we have category slash create right here and that's for creating a new category okay so we can do categories slash create and if we refresh click on this you can see we have an empty page because this route is still empty in our controller so if you check categories controller the create method is still empty okay but i want to show you something really interesting at the moment we are using slash categories slash create as the path which works because that's the path for this route right here but what we want is to actually use a route name and i'm going to show you exactly what route names are the reason is if we use the path and in future we want to change this path to category slash new we would have to find everywhere where we have this and change it to category slash new which is not very efficient what we want to do is instead use a route name so we're going to call a route function and we're going to pass in the name of the route categories dot create and how do i know the name of the route you can check the name column right here in php at stand route list and you're going to see the name right here categories dot create and this is going to the categories controller at create method remember this is the resource route that automatically registered this for us if you look at here we have for the home so the name of the route is home and if you go to the web.php check out the home route you can see that after defining the route a name function is called and the name is given as home and that's why it shows up here as home and this makes it really easy to be able to access the home route so in case i want the home route i can simply do route and home and in future if i decide to change the home route to something like dashboard i don't need to change everywhere to dashboard all i just need to do is change the route and automatically everywhere route home is it's just gonna match what i have here okay so that's a really cool way to define your routes so here we're just gonna have categories dot create and if we come back to application you know go back check the link click again it looks fine so the last thing we're gonna do in this lesson is simply set up the view so that we don't have to do that in the next lesson so here i'm gonna have a create dot blade dot php so i'm just gonna copy the contents of the index paste it right here i don't need this link but what i do need is a title so create category and here i'm gonna have a card body where i'm gonna have a form and i'm gonna have a dot form group and i'm gonna have an input dot form control which is going to be of type text name is going to be category or let's call this name so the name is going to be name and we can have a label for name and this is going to be name and if we have a label then we need to have an id for name and finally we're going to have a form group which is going to be for the button so we have button dot button dot button success and this is going to be add category like this so if we refresh this page we still have nothing because we have to return this view from the controller so if we come back to our controller in the create method we are going to return view categories dot create finally let's refresh great and you can see right now we have a view that says create category and we have an input with a value all right awesome so we're going to hit pause at the moment and in the next lesson we are going to continue working on creating a category and persisting it to our database